So let's say there is a problem to the large intestine. Um, let's say there's a problem to the large intestine. Then you want to actually correct this problem surgically. So if you want to correct this problem surgically, um, let's say the problem is just at one part of the large intestine. So you want to now cut part of the large intestine, then join the other parts that are not bad, all right? So this is what is known as what? Hemicolectomy. Hemicolectomy, all right? So we said that what? Hemicolectomy would be defining this type of surgery, uh, be defining it, talking about the types, talking about the indications, all right? Why are doing it? Talking about the procedure, talking about the risks and complications and what possible recovery time. So for the definition, we say that hemicolectomy is a surgical procedure to remove a portion of the colon, which is a large intestine. So you are doing it to remove a portion of the colon. Now, there are two main types of this hemicolectomy. You have the right hemicolectomy and the left hemicolectomy. This one is either, can you see the right hemicolectomy? That means you are just removing on the right. Left one, you are removing on the left. It's as simple as that. All right. So for the right one, we say that this is removing the right part of the colon. Colon is the same thing as right intestine, uh, the large intestine, sorry. All right. So you are removing the right part of the colon, including the ascending colon, and sometimes parts of the transverse colon. So you are removing the ascending colon and sometimes part. Sometimes you just need to remove only the ascending colon only. Then for the left hemicolectomy now, you are removing the left side of the colon. That's now you are talking about what? Descending colon and sometimes part of the sigmoid colon. All right. The indications. Why would you do? Why would you want to remove part of the large intestine? I felt the large intestine is that important. All right, but why do you want to remove it? It could be that uh, because it is due to what cancer. That's a cancer of the colon. So you are not removing the part that is affected so that it will not spread to the good part. Okay, so it could be cancer of the colon or rectal cancer. Then it could be diverticulitis, which is what inflammation of the diverticulum. It could be bowel obstruction, which is now chronic, right? If there's chronic bowel obstruction that you might just want to remove the part that is affected. It could be due to some inflammatory bowel diseases like what? Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. All right. Then it could be trauma or injury. All right. Trauma or injury. So then procedure now. How, if you want to do hemicolectomy, what are the simple things to do? You give anesthesia because you are opening up the patient. So you don't want them to feel pain. Give anesthesia. You prepare them. Then you do incision. That's if you are doing an open hemicolectomy or you are doing a, um, a laparoscopic type. Laparoscopic type, that's where you're doing all the small, small holes to put the laparoscope. All right. Then identification and isolation of the affected colon segment, then ligation of blood vessels and bowel division, then removal of the affected colon segment, then anastomosis, that's when you reconnect the good part of the colon. All right, then closure of the incision so, all right, so you can see this. They now cut this part, all right? So as they cut this part now, they now what? And small, small intestine has now been re right, to the remaining parts of the large intestine, right? So it's a beautiful procedure. Rix, it's a surgery, so it could result to an infection. That's after, if you don't clean up properly after that. Then the wound too, if you are not treating the wound well, it could result in an infection, results in bleeding. There could be leakage at the anastomotic site if you didn't do it well. So you do it well. Then there could be bowel obstruction. There could be adhesions. All right. The recovery time is roughly one week. That's five to seven days. All right. Pain management. It is dependent on pain management. All right. Then the patient might also be going under some dietary restrictions for some time. Then Follow up appointments too. All right. So that's it for what? Hemicolectomy surgical procedure. Spoke about the types, indications, procedure, risks, and recovery time. That's it.